presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let Morning. you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great night, great weekend. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 47, NASDAQ's down 15, S&P's up four and a half, gold contract down $7.10, trading at 2,002 an ounce. We have silver down 16 cents, twenty-four dollars seventy-nine cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a, where are you? Up a dollar forty-four, trading out at seventy-seven dollars nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up two ticks, trading one twelve oh six. The thirty-year up three at one twenty-six oh nine. And king dollar, king dollar is trading up two hundred eighteen ticks at one oh one zero nine eight. The euro is at 111, the yen is at 141, the British pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? I'm going to go to the world of the NDX first because that's coming into its lows first. You know, we just did that update. They, had, they both have the high volume low. It's coming into this bar, so this bar is going to be crucial because we're dealing with, let's get, look at this, okay? So you got an expansion of volume happening. We haven't hit the bar. This is where it always gets dangerous, folks, meaning you'll go lower. Because the bar that we're talking about is at the, uh, what was that? 49. Oh, we just blew it away. Yeah, this is going lower, man. Okay, so that just blew that out. Let me see what the, yeah, let me see what the S&Ps just did. We got the S&Ps, and I just might have to, okay. Let's take a look at this S&P then. That's quite a bar, that's an expansion too. Okay, so this bar here, we're still going after the low on the S&P, which is 61. And you get a minute left, and that's gonna, st it's gonna stall before it, but you get the expansion, the expansion of bar volume's happening. So this is gonna open close to it. And I suspect what we're going to get, that's going to blow it away also. Because what we just did, we blew the NASDAQ away. And we now, now this is interesting. Okay, so you got underneath it, but you didn't get underneath it with volume. You know, we did, the NASDAQ did 13,000 contracts. Uh, the last swing, it, it hit the last swing. That was only 11,000. Took that baby out. The bigger one was 24. But what you're going to have here, because of the fact of the way that the... Uh, you got to keep an eye on this like a hawk, man. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be a trip. Okay. Um, let's go over to the dollar next because it, simultaneously, if this dollar ever rises just slightly coming into the close, it's going to get interesting because you got to remember coming into this close, what you're going to have. So the dollar is up 219 ticks. No big deal, but when you do put it on a weekly, they finally got to get, got, got get a bounce going. You can see the bounce that we got going. If we do a, let's see what we got here. Bring this in. So we're, 
So, let's, hey, listen, it's saying, it's saying the dollar wants to do a 5 0 bounce. That's 101.530. And that would make sense, too, because the 101.530, okay, if you pull this in, now look at this, watch this. Because if we put this, oh, I gotta, we lay this up, it's the 101.500 area where we did break down from, you know? So, that's right, keep moving, man. Um, so that would make sense that that's exactly how this thing would shake out. Gold. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Jeez. Gold contract pulling back with light volume. Got 149,000 contracts. You're pulling back into over 200. Whoops. Okay, so this baby here, you can see we the, the low of that 200, that strength was started at 1958. We went from 19, oh, that's interesting. It went right to 1958 too, man. You gotta love that. So we went right to 1958. The bottom line is that you did reject lower price and that's where that big bar is, okay? The, the bar had uh, 264,000 contracts. We've only done 149. That's what you want to see, folks. And then you're also coming into 271,000. So bottom line is that gold wants higher price. That's how this baby's set up right now. We take a look at some of the higher volume. Well, actually, let's go to the bond market. Take a look at the bond market out here. T, the 10-year. We take a look at the 10-year. 10 year now up two ticks. That's on the on the daily. We came down hard yesterday, but when we came down yesterday, what we also did is that you were also going right into volume. So you were going into, yeah, see yesterday we were going into 204,000 contracts. We came into that the uh, third, let's see, we came into that yesterday with 1.5. So bottom line is that, and this is what's really going to get bizarre, is that notes and bonds want higher price. Higher price, lower yield, which is going to be just pretty wild, just shaking, shaking out itself. If we take a look at the 10-year as to what it's uh, yielding right now, it's yielding 3.8. I know I'm doing a million things at once here, folks, because there's nothing like an option expiration. We have option expiration every day, but this one's going to be really interesting, man. Anyway, we're yielding 3.837 right now. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here, let's take a look at them. You have uh, Tesla's, uh, well, let's go into the NDX first. So if we take a look at the NDX 100, you have uh, Qualcomm's up 3.4%. You got Illumina up 32 Texas Instruments up 2.1, and IDEX Pharmaceuticals up 2.3. Taken away from it. Sirius Satellite down 9.7%. That was up big yesterday. It's down 9.7 today, unreal. CSX uh, off 3.5. You got Intertoto Surgical off 3.2, and Facebook is off 2.9. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 40. You get the NASDAQ down 34. S&Ps are up uh, two. Let's go to look at uh, one of your lithium stocks out here for a couple of the targets. So this uh, equity, Piedmont Lithium, the low is 36, the high is 76. Let's go take a look at this. So this is a brand new... Uh, they just start trading, actually, because this... Uh, no, they stopped making money. 190 million this year. Okay, so let's see what how they're setting up right now. Okay, so let's put this on a weekly. So on a weekly. What happened is that the last time this, this got stopped in its tracks, you can see how this worked. On a weekly, the week going back to this, uh, what is that? Looks like the last week of June. Last week of June, what ends up happening, it, it, you know, it gets up to the price point of that 65.72. I'll show you what, how this worked. So this came right into how this came off its off its highs when the when the equity actually went from 76 down to 62 like in a heartbeat it got up to there gave it up right now it's got a lot of volume so this thing wants to go to lower price at this particular point now it's not like there's a lot of high volume lows on well let me put this on a monthly first yeah you're gonna have to be careful with this stock I'd be real careful with the stock. The reason being is that you see, you see what happened is that your first acceleration, you know, uptown was good, right? But when you get an equity that, you know, does go from, <laughs> this thing went from $5 to $54 in one month, right? Then this whole sideways move has been on light volume. This will consolidate and get to a lower price. That's, that's how that baby's set up right now. So you definitely want to be careful with that. That's 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 how that baby's set up right now. Oh, look at the NQs. Yeah, let's let's look at this because we might have just got a rejection of lower price. It went down there. Let me see what kind of volume we got. So we're right at the number right now, meaning that it's the. Uh, 15,559. Uh, That's the number you got to keep your eye on here. 
because see, we broke it. Now you got you got a high volume low here also again. Okay, um, so you get a little tricky, but this is the bar that you want to watch for sure. This is the bar you want to watch, like in spades, because what you want to see now. You want to see, can it get any traction whatsoever upside? So the traction we just got downside was 14,000. And we're only a minute into this bar now. So when we get like five minutes into the bar, I'll give you a little update here. But this is the one you want to watch, man. Because if you, the way this works with price and volume is that if you got volume into the bar, and it doesn't have to be a huge amount of volume, by the way, okay? It just has to be some decent volume. Then that'll, that'll dig into it. That'll get back in the range. At the 10 minute mark, you want to watch is it where it's at, meaning a 559. 559 is the number. Can't hold 559, it's just setting up lower lows. That's how that works. We go take a look at the, uh, so let's go take a look at a few of them because it's going to get interesting here. You got, you know, some have to get sold, some have to get bought. Um, you know, Apple right now. Down 74 says, I would love to understand, can you imagine, like, I would love to understand, like, how this works, actually. Like, how do you move so many shares out, right? You know, they've probably been moving some out yesterday, but you got to remember something. Tom was talking about this this morning, that the, all the funds that equity, all the equity funds that mimic the NDX 100, well, they have to do it right to the close today. That's what's so wild, man. So it's like, how do you do that? How, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's programs that do it, but the bottom line is that you, you get the gist of it, okay? There's gonna be so many shares that are sold of Apple and Google and Microsoft, and then there's gonna be so many shares that have been bought from these other companies, okay? So, you know, right now, we're gonna see a huge expansion of the big caps on the way down. And the real question is, is there gonna be enough buyers on the other side of that in order to basically, you know, flatten it out? I, I've seen option expirations that looked like they were gonna be highly volatile and they weren't. This is a little bit different. You have option expiration happening. And the difference here in the option expiration, this is what's also going on, is that stock replacement is a big deal, folks, okay? And it, I, I can understand how you do this in stock replacement, and that's the way I'd probably do it, but that doesn't mean it's the right way. <laughs> you know, I mean, the, when you're running, you know, hundreds of thousands of shares, but you could do stock replacement, and this would be the day that you put the stock replacement on, because this is the last day. It's, it's gotta be on, you gotta own that thing by Monday morning, by the open on Monday morning, you know? So, we'll see where this shakes out. Um, we go back over, we, let's go to the ID, IWM and see if anything's happening with this IWM. You're going to stay up on me here. Okay, so the IWM, right now, this is, yeah, there's not a lot of volume here, man. What the IWM did do, though, it hasn't been able to basically take out the high from six months ago. Well... Yeah, even that high. And on a weekly, let's see on a weekly we have. On a weekly, you got 132 million versus 125. So that, that's not bad. That's, you know, 132 versus 125, that's not bad. The prior one of that was 104. We go and look at the S&Ps, how these babies line up. And I wonder what this is going to look like on a weekly. Yeah, on a weekly, it doesn't look, still doesn't look bad. Yeah. Yep, on a weekly, it doesn't look bad. And the Qs. The Qs are good. It, I th well, let's look at it first. Yeah, the Qs aren't that bad either, man. You know? They, now, the, now the, what the Qs did do, you got an expansion of volume coming off the high, but not a, not a monster one, man. I mean, you know, you, you're going into 323 million, and we did 268. Now, that 320, that's, that's where I suspect we're going to be going next week, which is 372. 372 is the area where you had, we had a lot of volume. That was six weeks ago. Uh, the, the bottom of that, that was 355. We went from 355 to 372. 
you know, you can see that big bar. That's, that's, a, that's a good size bar, man. So it's going to try to get into that, but you're going to have to uh, have some real juice. And, you know, we'll see. Some are trading. What, what some are trading happens all the time, folks, is that everything slows down. The volume slows down. People aren't around, all of the above. But the price and volume still move. Are there more buyers or are there more sellers, okay? Bottom line, you get more buyers, it wants to go up. You get more sells, it's going to go down. That's the bottom. That's... That's just, you know, any business, okay? You know, you get more buyers, guess what? You can raise your price. You get more sellers, guess what? You better have the sales going on. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 16, NASDAQ's down 30, S&P's up one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 33. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 27. S&Ps are up 2.5. Let's get over and take a look at the GDX and see where we're standing here. So we take a look at the GDX out here. Okay, so this is pretty cool. 31, we got to 3104 today. We rejected lower price. Watch, look at this, man. So you did 9.8 million shares. 9.8 million is coming into 44, yeah, 44 million. 
that is a huge contraction of volume, folks. That, you know, we, we got a small ABC structure going up anyway. But the bottom line is that now you got a reje rejection of lower price. You have it with lighter volume. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, let me see what this is doing. I got those done. Okay. Um, bottom line is that this wants higher price. And so what's going to be intriguing here is the context of how far this dollar actually wants to go. You know, because the, the reality is that if the dollar only goes, goes to that 101,500, what we're going to have is that the market will pull back the first couple of days of next week, probably with light volume. And then guess what? We go higher again. Because <laughs> that's, that's, you know, if that, if that dollar, you know, yeah, that's, that's how that's set up, man. Because the bottom line is that when that dollar goes lower, man, this market wants higher price. Let's go to take a look at the oil market. We take a look at oil out here. Okay, so you get, we get some volume out here, man. We get 289,000. That's good. That's good. That's good volume out here, man. Yeah. So It's going to be get a little tricky in oil, but this gets good volume. I mean, this oil market could go to 81, and right now you're at 76. So what would happen there, the way this would work there, it would be the same context. See, when you, if, you're, if you're looking at a lot of different... What, what I love about the move in the dollar is you can look at the commodities in general, okay? And it's a clear-cut deal that it's a mathematical number, meaning... When the dollar goes lower, commodities go higher. And it, at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't mean that you're going to be, well, other countries are basically paying less for the same commodity, you know. And in our case, what ends up happening in an inflated air, now this is what gets interesting about, you know, inflation in general, is that as the dollar is going lower, Let's say the market just keeps wanting to go higher as the dollar going lower. Well, it doesn't mean that you can buy more stuff. What it means is that you just have a higher mathematical number. You know, so we know that our dollar today is not what it was worth 10 years ago. It's not worth what it was, you know, five years ago. It's not worth what it was two years ago, okay? And it's not going to be worth what it, in two years from now. So that's kind of how it shakes out. You know, there's a number, this, this, is, a, <laughs> this is a scary number. When Carter was president, right, the debt was $1 trillion. That's when it hit $1 trillion. And now we're $39 trillion. Yeah. Is that a number or what? That is one number. There's no doubt. Just stay there for one second, folks, because i got to move some more of these. Sorry about this, but... I'm going to be moving these out as this market. There we go. The, um, yeah, 1 trillion to 39 trillion. And so the, the, the key there, of course, okay, is that what that means is that the way to get out of this, you know, is you inflate your way out of debt. That, that's the reality. And, you know, that's what's happening right now, too. There's no doubt. That's, that's what's going on. Let's go look at this spy for a second. Because I'm looking at the spy. <laughs> yeah, sorry about this, folks. But Okay, so this bar here, five minutes. We're five minutes into this bar. That's, that's a big number, but it's going to go after it. So the 452... 32 we're going to go after the real question is is that it's going to blow it away so let's go back to the e-mini for a second yeah it's going to blow it away so what, what happens there is this you see that we haven't what i didn't realize even when i look at the e-mini we haven't hit that high volume low yet in the e-mini so your probability gets pretty good that you're going to do it. And we'll probably do that right at the close. Because the differential 
and the E-mini versus the NASDAQ. We know that the movement gets down to the NASDAQ, but what you will get is that the NASDAQ leads up, the NASDAQ leads down, the NASDAQ leads everywhere, right? But what happens is that, yeah, see, the NASDAQ can't get back inside the range. That range is that 59, and right now you're at 36. You know, so we're going to get a little trashing here coming in. That's how it's looking. Because the last three bars that we got, you see that up bar? That up bar that we got only had 12,000 contracts. You were going against 13.8. Yeah, going against 13.8. This one has what? Oh, this is kind of low. This is low. Yeah, this is low. Right now you're only at seven. So you get, you get four more minutes uh, into this bar. See where it shakes out, man. Let me see where I'm standing. One second. Okay, inch by inch, I'm moving these out, folks. <laughs> and if you've ever traded, sorry about this, I know. Whoops, not that one. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here and see what we have. You got, uh, oh, let's go look at Tesla because uh, Tesla is going to be in this deal. We take a look at Tesla. Oh, that's down a buck 26. That's not bad. No, it came down now in the weekly. We pull this up in a weekly. Oh, in a weekly, a whole different ball game though. Yeah. That's a nice engulfing look at that thing if you're, if you're candlestick charting oh i gotta put it on a weekly but the bottom line is that yeah if you put this on a weekly you get yourself a nice engulfing pattern on the way down the monster way too and that says that next week you get some follow through there and what is that number 52 252 that's what it looks like it can, it can basically get into that's how this baby's setting up right now we have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now, where are you? Up 20, Nasdaq's down 33, S&P's up one and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 17, NASDAQ's down 38, S&P's a flat. Let's go take a look at uh, NEE. -E. So you got uh, next year energy, the lows 69, the highs 91. They're going to be coming out with their earnings on the 25th of July. They're going to be looking to do 6.2 billion to the top line, 83 cents to the bottom line. And what do we have? Oh, look at this. I see. Okay. You got a consolidation. Yeah, it's not a good. That's not a bad setup, man. Now. This is, I believe, this is their people are in this for, for dividends. 2.46. Okay, so they do business. Company generates electricity, wind, solar, natural gas. Largest utility in the state of Florida. Interesting. We have probably, we have Duke Energy, but it doesn't mean that that's... Yeah, I mean, the way this is set up, I'd say that, yeah, it does want a higher price. You know, that's, that's a sign of strength out there. You go, you go this, well, let me put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, it's not a bad setup, man. I mean, it's going to take, well, it's already dug into the 74. You're at 76. So that, that swing point is game at the... Uh, at 70, 79. We go to UPS. UPS, of course, is in talks right now about going on strike. The lows, 154. The highs, 209. Next time they come out with numbers is on August 8th. Look at this. I wouldn't be touching this, man. So that it, you gap down... You get no volume on the way up. Let me see this on a weekly. Yeah, I wouldn't be touching this. Particularly because, now look at this. You see, you go back to September of 2022. You get a downdraft there on a weekly with 23 million shares. It makes it all the way up there again. Then you get another downdraft with... 36 million shares, uh, 30 million shares. This is building cause for lower price, man. When you see something like this, let me pull this back on a monthly. So on a monthly, yeah, you get a high volume low there too. Yeah, on a monthly, this is still consolidating. That's how this is set up. So, you know, we'll see whether they end up going on strike or not, but Bottom line is that, uh, you know, I wouldn't be touching that. Let's go over to E-minis and see if this thing's going to break down. They're fighting like crazy, man. That's, there's no doubt about that, man. Because it's like, it's right at this level. It hasn't, well, did it hit it yet? Let's see. It's a 64. It's just hitting it. It's just hitting it. Okay, so let's see what we have here. 
Um, five minutes. This, you're in five minutes into this bar. We get 19,000. Is that right? That's a, that's a lot for five minutes, man. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a lot of contracts, man. So we'll see where this closes out on this bar. But that, that's, that's come down with volume. You know, the, the bar that it wants to hit, which it just hit, has 49. But we, for that, for 22,000 at that level, that's a lot of volume. Let's go over the NQs and take a look at the NQs for a second. Yeah, they can, they can, the NQs can't get off at all. I can't wait to see what happens at this close here. You know, I, like how, like how do they do this? <laughs> and then when we pull up, when we pull up the volume stats on, on the big caps, it's going to be huge volume, man, because they, they got to move it. So the real question is when they move it, so they sell the stock out. And what I, what I mean by that, so what ends up happening, folks, because the waiting is less, they have to sell the stock. But what I don't get there is that they sell the stock. Yeah, yeah, I guess there's going to be people. Well, there's, there's always people on the other side. The real question is what price do you want to pay for it, right? That's what it comes down to. Let's go take a look at the uh, platinum market out here. So the PPLT, that's trading up 53 cents right now. This is the ETF of platinum. Let's go back inside the range. We've just gone from 82 to 88. And you get a high volume high right now. This is good. You got to actually get an ABC up. Let's do the numbers here. We got 90, 27, 82. So you got eight bucks. That's going to get you 90, 96. Right now you're at 88. And 90, this is so weird when this happens. 96 is your next swing point. So that's also saying that platinum's going to go. It's almost. It's almost every commodity that you actually pull up is saying that the dollar is going to continue to go lower. That's how this has been shaken out for, you know, since the dollar basically went downtown. Now, the thing that's going to be really intriguing is this. Now, watch this. Because if we put the dollar up here and really look at this, what you're going to see is that you're in... A lower range and if you break you know the, this range here goes from kind of where we are right now all the way down to the price point of 89 you break 89 <laughs> and now you're in a whole different number man because then you have another range that goes from the 89 all the way down to the 72. That would be a mind blower, no doubt. Now the 72, I want to look at this for a second because I, that's when, if that's what you have, if you are going to Europe at any time, <laughs> this is where this gets really intriguing because the, I mean, look at this. I have to go back 20 years I mean, it's hard to comprehend. The euro's at 111, but even we were at one, look at that, we were 139 in 2013. 139. We were at 95 back about 10 months ago. So you can, you can see the, the correlations there are pretty intense, man, especially if you're traveling. The euro, the high in the euro is one. 166. Could you imagine 166? You can imagine these countries. Just imagine when the dollar was getting so strong, what they thought about the other side of it, meaning that, okay, you're not going to, you know, you buy things in dollars and it's going to cost you a fortune. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 26. You got the NASDAQ down 17. S&Ps are up two. Hey, we'll see what happens in the next 10 minutes, man. We'll see where this uh, rotate, well, not rotation, this rebalance is going to go. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 38, Nasdaq's down 32, S&P's up 2.5. And, and, you know, of course, you know, I have Tim Oyd on tw twice a week, folks, just so to give you a heads up, the you know, he talks about this S&P uh, VIX ratio. Well, he just sent over to me that uh, there's a minor divergence on the three-week average of the SPX VIX ratio, and he's selling his uh, S&P position. So that's just a heads up in general uh, if you are following Tim, because um, those ratios are so cool, man. That's why I was specifically asking him yesterday. I felt that there could have been one this week just because of the way that the market was trading, and, and sure enough, that's, that's what's going on. So that's just a heads up in general. Uh, well, I could do, well, here, I'll do the volume right now so you can see what the differential is. It's going to be insane. So right now on the NYSC, we get 499, let's say 500 million. And on the composite, we are dealing with uh, 3.9. Now watch the composite. The composite's going to end up with like 8 or 9 billion. That's how this thing is going to shake out, man. Because you got to remember something. You're not just selling something. They're selling and buying simultaneously. And it's going to be on the close, man. That's how this is going to shake out. The cool thing is, is you can see that the liquidity is so amazing um, that you can do something like this. Oh, I got to give you this trivia tale. Wait till you hear this. I'm going to leave you this for the weekend. Okay, so I love watching fishing shows, animal shows, and cooking shows, right? Last night, okay, 
they had, if you don't know this, this is a mind blow, man. They were showing lions, okay? So lions, folks, okay, this is insane. When they breed, okay, they, they breed two days a year. But when they breed, they, when they, they, when they, you know, when the male gets the female, they breed every 15 minutes, okay, for two days straight. That, yeah, I'm, I was laughing so much last night I couldn't see straight, okay? They, they, they can, within two days, they're breeding like 40 times, okay? And now you wonder why lions are king of the jungle? Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. We'll see what this volume is on the update. <laughs> Building wealth.